What's up, ladies and G's? D1 Snipes here, and today uh, you got my overlay. You've got a uh, little box up in the right hand corner. This is what I do my uh, normal live comms with. Uh, haven't been doing any for a while. Um, sorry, I've been so inactive. My internet has been all over me recently. I haven't been able to do much. Um, be back on that grind soon. You can expect a lot really, really, really soon. Um, don't worry about that. I'm coming back. Um, one thing I want to talk to you guys about is the pro teams have been going at it recently, man. Um, a lot of drops, a lot of pickups. Uh, shit's been going really, really crazy. Um, just a few I want to go over real quick. Um, let's start with Optic, the big name. Um, Hex drops JCap. Um, this is huge news. Um, Nobody was really expecting this. Uh, I know I wasn't. Um, I know that JCap is not a big uh, Infinity Ward guy, but shit, that's crazy. We're a month into the game, and I know he hadn't been performing, but Jesus, that's crazy um, to think that a team like that, that is known for keeping a team together, uh, just drop somebody like that is uh, is pretty crazy. But at the same time, it makes sense. I mean, he was huge into Treyarch games. He's really, really good in all these Treyarch games. And he's been, those are his games. And I think Optic saw that, that he's not going to make that transfer. Uh, so they dropped in quick, uh, cut the bleeding early, uh, try and work on something that's going to be useful for him. And uh, of course, they pick up the only guy they've won a tournament with here recently. Uh, while Jay Cap was out, they pick up Ricky. Uh, they won a tournament with him online. So, I mean, I guess it only makes sense. Like, that has to be their reasoning. Uh, him and Nade are both very vocal leaders. Um, Ricky is kind of a dull personality. Other than his, uh, his tack talk, as I'd like to call it, other than that, he's just not... <sighs> I mean, optics just made up of personalities. I mean, you got Big T, the Canadian, that's crazy funny. Uh, everybody loves that guy. You can't not love Big T, even if you don't like him as a player. Uh, Scump, the redheaded slayer, galore, dude, he's just nuts. Uh, a prodigy for sure. And then you got uh, Nate Shot, who's just super professional, all about the hard work into it and all that stuff. But. You bring J-Cap in, and I mean, they're a lot of the same person. J-Cap doesn't really talk a whole lot. Ricky is just the opposite, but that's kind of what you want. Some guy that's sitting in the back with the AR, and he's going to be talking nonstop. So it'll be interesting for me to see how uh, Nate Shot and Ricky kind of mesh, and they're both really into it, and I think that's going to help them. But in the long run, uh, who's going to be calling the shots? Who's going to be... Uh, Who's going to be making those big calls, and especially with their addition to their new coach, uh, Flame Sword? How's that going to be into it? You got three people talking constantly. Um, should be something interesting to look into. Um, so let's move on to Envy. Uh, Envy uh, loses Karma. Karma is huge for them. Um, I'm not sure whether Karma left or whether he got dropped. But Karma fits in great with that group. Uh, I know Merc hadn't moved into the house yet. But you had Proofy, Rambo, and Karma. All three. Uh, all three great guys. All three uh, great players. Like I, I never saw this coming. I was so surprised. Um, I don't know what else to say about that one. Karma, uh, amazing player. Showed that at the end of Black Ops 2. I mean, even at the beginning, but at the end of Black Ops 2, he's just so dominant in SMD and even Hardpoint. He went off at Gfinity like crazy. Um, I don't know. Regardless, <coughs> Karma's, Karma goes to uh, Cole. We'll get to that in a second. But Envy picks up Goonjar. Um... I don't think anybody saw this coming either. I don't know that much about Gunjar. I know he played for TK. I thought TK was super tight-knit. Like, I thought they were going to stay together for a long time. But apparently, 
I was wrong there too, so I, mean, I can't say a whole lot about that. I'm not really sure what was going on behind the scenes there, but I'm sure we'll find out uh, later on. So karma goes to complexity. So who's complexity drop? You know who it has to be, Clayster. Um, I'm kind of surprised at this, as they won the last event, the last seven events. Uh, but at the same time, I did see this coming. Clayster is the only super outspoken guy. Everybody else is real focused, real into it, um, real subtle. Um, Clayster just didn't fit. He was their only hype guy, but you got Mr. X behind you. What more do you need, really? Uh, so, Karma going to Complexity. Complexity is going to be fucking nasty. Complexity is going to be legit. Um, I don't know who's going to beat them. You take out Clay, who's probably their weakest, their weakest player, probably their weakest link for Search and Destroy, and you put in Karma, probably Envy's... Envy is by far the best raw slayer, and with that sniper, oh my god, it, it's, dude, I'm gonna be, if, if Complexity can figure out Blitz, it's over, man, nobody else is gonna win any tournaments, no way, no way, I, I don't care, maybe TK, TK loses Goon Jars, I don't know who, I don't know, but that takes me to my next one. Uh, TK picks up Clayster. Never, ne of of all of these moves, I've seen by players of all of these, this one surprises me the most. I figured that Clayster would go to a small team, carry him, uh, see what he could do. One of these young teams that are willing to pick up just about anybody and are bad mouthing people. <sighs> TK. Probably the most chilled out, team oriented group of guys in the whole circuit. And Clayster goes there. I don't I, I don't think that's gonna last long. Clay's gonna get out of there quick. Uh, they might win a little bit, but uh, no. Nah, Clayster doesn't stay there in my opinion. But yeah, so you have Ricky goes to Optic, you have Karma goes to Complexity, Goonjar to Envy, uh, you have Clayster to TK, they just got a lot of shit going on, and then Jcap is still a free agent right now, Jcap has not been picked up at this time, uh, I know this is late in the day. But if anybody's going to be watching this, it's going to be the guys who are trying to figure everything out like I just did. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is crazy. Um, I'm so surprised at, at all of these moves, but nothing more than Clayster going to TK. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it's kind of late. I'm sorry if my audio is a little off. Uh, my fucking house is torn to shit right now, so... We're trying to get it back together, but as soon as all this stuff's back together, as soon as my internet's back on, I'll be back on with you guys soon. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.